the story of, uh, of St. Michael was, was first written down uh, round about 807, and it's in the book of Armagh. Um, and in fact, it's in Northern Ireland that I'm going to take you now to start off the story that leads here. But it begins with a tearaway teenager, McCall. He's the chief of uh, a gang of young freebooting kerns, they would have been called, bandits, who terrorise the hills of Ulster. Um, and they were, these are the words of the 5th century Welsh historian Gildas. They were, he says, like worms, which in the heat of midday come out of their holes. This is in his account of what happened in the northern part of the British Isles after the Romans left. And he tells us that these characters were inspired by a thirst for blood and were more eager to shroud their faces in disguises than to cover the rest of their bodies with any clothing at all. <laughs> the mind boggles. And the book of Armagh goes on to record that McCool was, here are the words, depraved in words, intemperate in words, malignant in action, bitter in spirit, quarrelsome in disposition, abandoned in body, cruel of mind, a heathen in life, and devoid of conscience. It's a good start. <laughs> and uh, McCool and his gang roam the hills in, in Ulster, setting ambushes for unwary travellers and seizing every opportunity they could to uh, cause mayhem. Now, the Armagh Chronicle doesn't pull any punches at all about the description that it gives of uh, the pool. But of course, it's to throw into dramatic contrast uh, the story of, of what happens later on. And everything changed when McCool uh, saw St. Patrick 